Greetings and welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking at the 2009 stop motion dark fantasy animated film Coraline, directed by Henry Selick and starring the voices of Dakota Fanning and Terry Pratchett. Let's begin. Coraline Jones struggles to adapt to her new life after she and her workaholic parents move from Pontiac, Michigan to the Pink Palace Apartments in Ashland, Oregon. She meets the landlady's grandson, Y-born YB Lovat, and a stray black cat. Later, YB gives her a butternut rag doll from his grandmother's trunk that eerily resembles Caroline. The doll guides Caroline to a small door in her apartment with a bricked up wall behind it. That night, a mouse leads Coraline back to the door, now a portal leading to a parallel universe where Coraline meets the other mother and father, butternut doppelgangers of her parents who appear more attentive and caring. She returns home the next morning where YB recounts the disappearance of his great aunt. Coraline's neighbor, Sergei Alexander Bobinsky, an eccentric Chernobyl liquidator turned gymnast who owns a mouse circus, and retired burlesque actresses April Spink and Miriam Forcible cryptically warn her about imminent danger. Despite the warnings, Coraline visits the other world twice more. Accompanied by the mute other YB, she is entertained by the dimensions doppelgangers of her neighbors and meets the cat who can traverse between the two worlds and speaks in the other world. On Coraline's third visit, the other mother offers to let her stay in the other world permanently in exchange for having buttons sewn over her eyes. Horrified, Coraline tries to escape back to her world, but the other mother imprisons her in a room behind a mirror. There, the ghosts of past victims, including YB's great-aunt, tell Coraline how the other mother, whom they call the Beldam, used ragdolls of themselves to spy and lure them to the other world. After accepting the Beldam's offer to sew buttons over their eyes, she robbed them of their souls. The ghosts explain that they can only be freed by retrieving the essences of their souls, which the Beldam has hidden throughout the other world. Caroline promises to do so and is rescued by the other YB who helps her return home. Caroline realizes the Beldam has kidnapped her parents, forcing her to return to the other world. Accompanied by the cat, Caroline proposes a game. If she can find her parents and the essences of the ghost's souls, they will all go free. If not, she will finally accept the Beldam's offer. The Beldam agrees and Caroline searches for the soul's essences, discovering that the Beldam murdered the other YB for his defiance. As she finds each essence, part of the other world turn lifeless and the entire dimension eventually disintegrates. Caroline encounters the Beldam in her true arachnid-like form and the ghost of YB's great aunt warns that the Beldam will not honor her bargain. Tricking the Beldam into opening the door to the real world by claiming that her parents are behind it, Caroline throws the cat and at her and rescues her parents who are trapped in a snow globe. Caroline narrowly escapes through the door severing the Beldam's right hand. Back home, Coraline reunites with her parents, who have forgotten about their capture. That night, ghosts appear in Coraline's dream and thank her for freeing them, but warn that the Beldam is still after the key needed to unlock the door. Coraline decides to drop the key down an old well, but the Beldam's several hand attacks her. YB arrives and after a struggle, destroys the hand with a large rock. The duo toss the key and the hand's remnants into the well and seal it. The next day, Caroline and her parents host a party for their neighbors, including YB's grandmother, whom Caroline and YB prepare to tell about her missing sister's fate. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below with a suggestion letting me know which movie I should do next, or what your favorite part of this video was. Thank you for watching, remember to subscribe, and goodbye.